Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. So we just dropped the kids off at my mom's house where I'm wearing my coat. We literally just came back. We're gonna get ready, pack everything, and head on out to Rhinebeck. We're gonna be visiting the Merbo Spa for three days. It's gonna be like a little spa getaway for my husband and I. Kind of like an anniversary trip. Our anniversary was the beginning of October. With COVID, it can be kind of hard to find places that are not booked out or that are open. I just had like the hardest time trying to find something. But I found out about Merbo through Diana Confederate. She has a YouTube channel as well. They they went there her and her husband went there i want to say like two years ago or something and they vlogged it and it looked so cute they went to the one in skinny atlas we're going to be going to the one in rhinebeck i believe it's newer and it has a much different vibe but i wanted like a little spa getaway where we can get massages i'm looking forward to these massages and so now i'm sitting here i have to paint my nails before we head on out i have to curl my hair but i thought i would do like a quick little introduction before we headed out so you guys know what's going on we'll take you guys along try to vlog a little bit. We've never been to Rhinebeck. I've honestly never heard of it. Apparently, Paul Rudd co-owns a candy store there, so maybe we'll check that out. It is a little bit chillier today, and it's gonna be rainy today and tomorrow, but I'm hoping it's gonna get, the weather's gonna get better. Yeah, that's my little introduction, so we'll see where this vlog takes us. I'm just quickly show you guys my OOTD. So I have these leather leggings that I talked about in my Amazon haul. I absolutely love them. They are like lined, fleece lined inside, so they're nice and warm and they're nice and snug as well. And they're such a great fit. This is actually my husband's shirt, believe it or not. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on this sweater right on top, which is what I'm gonna do right now. And I have these knee-high boots that I'm gonna put on as well. So nice and cozy. I'm actually loving the whole sweater, sweater vest with like a button-up blouse look right now that I keep seeing. for an early check-in how cute is this bathroom so adorable i'm not really gonna film like when there's actually a lot of people here so i'm not really gonna film much of the interior here but it's so cute i love the little detailing oh you want to play chess they have like chess right here <laughs> so cute look at this it's like a little library sitting area Vadim doesn't know this yet, but he's about to get roasted in chess. <laughs> but seriously, look how cute this little library is. I wish this was my house. It's so pretty. Yeah, I totally lost this game, but we're not going to talk about that. We're walking into downtown. The Merbo spot is actually right at the downtown center, and we're going to go grab something to eat from some place called Cinnamon Indian Cuisine. It actually looked really delicious, and we love Indian, so that's where we're walking to right now. But everything looks so cute here. It's like closely knit little village. This is a village of Rhinebeck, so very cute. Kind of reminds me of Greenville, South Carolina, right? Their little street. So the Indian place is actually closed. It's not gonna open till 5.30, so we're just sitting here back in the library, chilling, waiting for our room to get checked in. My husband went to go ask and see. It's almost four, checking is at four. They weren't ready early, so just hanging out waiting. Thought I'd update you guys. It's like the little patio. Oh, they're calling me. I think that means we are ready to go. So this is our room. I forgot the name of it. I think it's just like a, I think that's a closet. It's a cute little bed. I love the details in this whole entire hotel. It kind of gives me like Victorian Parisian vibes. In the fireplace. Does that turn on? Turn it on. I want to see if it. Do they have a bathroom here? Yeah, it's like an electric fireplace. Love the detail. Framed TV. K cup machine. Lavazza. Oh, I didn't know Lavazza made. Yummy. Ice machine. This faux balcony. Yeah, we're facing like the main entryway view. I suppose where you can open it. It's very pretty. Kind of reminds me of Paris. Just not the outside, but like the vibes of the whole little mini, mini balcony. 
balances. Is there a bathroom in here? I think that's, there has to be a bathroom in here. I thought it was a closet for some reason. Oh, fancy, fancy. Clawfoot tub, I think we have the same one at home. Ours is a little different. Oh, this is really nice. Can you turn the light on? Can't find the light? <laughs> Are you for real right now? It's supposed to be like... It's like an incognito light. Siri, please turn the light on. Alexa, somebody? I think it's on the outside probably. So. Let me see. That'd be weird if it was. No, it's not. Is it in here? Oh yeah, I guess it's on the outside, so. Yeah. Okay, okay, that makes sense, but it's really cute. I love the antique framed picture. I think in the photos it was a little bit different, but it's still really cute. It has like cute vibes. And then this is a walk-in shower. Nothing much to see here. Clawfoot tub. It has a safe. Yeah. So you have your double doors to the bedroom. The clo that's closet. So then what's this? Oh, toilet, obviously. Yeah, and that's it. They have complimentary robes and slippers. It's always nice. It's actually really cute. I want to order breakfast in bed one of these days. I think that'd be really cute. Breakfast in bed, nice little view. This whole hotel has like really nice vibes. So if you're looking for, I mean, it seems super well kept. Like this velvet backing, it's very pretty. I'm just hoping to relax our massages. You got some water bottles there. Probably make yourself a cup of coffee, drink it here. Talk about life, ponder about life, Viva. It's really cute. I really it's like kind it. Of weird, it's so quiet without the kids. <laughs> I know, we're not used to it. But look at the colors are changing and the foliage outside, you can kind of see it. We make it darker. I know, we're so used to like coming into a hotel room with them and they're like, ah, la, 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 la. why is the focus thing? Okay. Because I'm the main focus. <laughs> okay. Are you excited why to be here? Focusing on me. Because <laughs> I'm here. Uh, Are you excited to be here? Yes, I'm excited I'm to relax very excited. And do nothing for once. That's it's right. so bright. But we're actually going to go to the Indian restaurant. Why do you keep looking at the screen? You got to look at the little I know, it's like a habit. We're actually going to go to the Indian restaurant now. Um, because it's open, but when we checked online, it said they open at 5.30. And we walked four. by, it was closed We walked too. by, and in, online it also said they're closed until 5.30, so. But whatever, we got to explore a little bit, got to wait to check in, so we're honestly just doing nothing, going with the flow, so let's go eat some Indian let's food. Go. We walked here, because the hotel, the spa is so close to here, but it got a lot quieter now. It's like 4 p.m., no, it's like 4 something, yeah. So we're gonna go try cinnamon finally, but it's so cute here. I think the... Uh, Super cute. So fancy. I want to see if this reminds me of. No. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's like a um, this. So we're walking back from dinner. Oh, it's too dark. Uh, the cinnamon Indian restaurant was actually really good. How'd you like it? It was really good. We was had good. Lamb, to it, lamb and chicken tikka masala, and then we stepped by Samuel's Sweet Shop because um, rumor has it, well actually it's not a rumor. So apparently Paul Rudd and Jeffrey Dean Morgan co-own it. So we were just looking at, we got a latte, some candy, some chocolates, and then we looked behind us. And he's standing right there, you guys. <laughs> we didn't know what to do with ourselves. I'm like, it was like really awkward, but really exciting that we got to meet a celebrity. He's just like not show out. He's like, hey, how's it going? We're like, can we take a photo? Well, he he asked to take I a said photo. It. I'm like, what is I'm wow? Like, oh my god, you're so embarrassing. The photo where it never happened. Oh, but that was so cool. Like, I don't. know, It was just silence for like three minutes. Well, uh, we were just quiet, walking the whole way back. We didn't know what to do with ourselves. Oh, it was really cool though. I wasn't expecting like, I'm, famous I'm, people. I'm still processing it. I'm sorry, I just spit everywhere. But it was really cool. Yeah, so we're gonna go up to our room now and change and go to the spa.
maybe nobody here. It's so perfect. Yeah. I love it. They got the little Actually, we came fire. here. We came, came here, here before it was so packed before yeah. we were able to check in. We came here, um, and there were so many people here who we just like, came out waiting for it to be checked in. But now there's like nobody here. I love it. from the willow downstairs they do room service breakfast um everything looks really good i have their eggs benedict here and it comes with i think these are fries like home fries looks really cute um we actually want to eat there no we were going to eat there for dinner yesterday but we ended up going to the indian place so we're going to enjoy our coffee they have a cute little espresso machine here with lavazza espresso and we're just going to hang out and chill all day basically we <laughs> We were gonna eat downstairs. Should I tell them the fry story? Might as well, I don't know. <laughs> Got back from the spa or the aqua terrace yesterday. It was like seven. It was like seven. We took showers and when I was in the shower heat, I asked him to call and get some fries, room service. So he called and then like an hour and a half later, we're like wondering where are these fries? They were like these truffle flies, you know, truffle fly fries with the um, truffle oil. So he calls and he's like, hey, you know, we ordered some fries. Um, the guy's like, oh yeah, you know, I'll look into it. Um, they should be coming right up, he said, right? Yeah, yeah it's coming right up. Oh, he said, it's coming right up. So we're like, okay. We wait another hour and a half. Ended up being three hours. And he's like, it's like 11 o'clock. He's like, I'm just going to cancel your fries. I'm like, well, what if they just show up? And he's like, no, I'm just going to cancel the fries. It's like 11 o'clock. They never, I don't know what happened. So we were kind of hesitant to order room service here because we're like, you know, what if we order it? And then it never show, shows up and we're like hungry and then breakfast is over and you're like you know my sizes kinda, are due yeah so but it came really fast their breakfast came really fast i don't know what happened last night but just thought i would share that little tidbit and experience with you guys but now we're just gonna enjoy our breakfast everything looks really good really cute and then our massages are at 115 we're just gonna basically chill all day some more coffee got some more pods from the front desk this espresso machine is actually really nice it reminds me of the espresso machine we have at home I'm gonna call the kids right now and see how they're doing hello, hello. hi Bianca Oi. Oi. Yeah, is that Louise or Vian oh Louisca oh, it's oh, okay these kids. oh my goodness they don't want the camera hi the huge oh this smells so good that's usually what we hear at home lots <laughs> of so not sharing and oh man these kids are hilarious so we just facetimed the kids we're gonna get ready to go out for dinner we have reservations at i think it's called turapin 
Kirapin. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, it's a yeah, restaurant. I don't know how to pronounce it. You never know. Like um, Merbo. Like some people say Merbeu, but it's Mirbo, I believe. So we have reservations at five. I'm really interested to try. They have pumpkin ravioli. I think that's what I'm gonna get. I looked at their menu ahead. But I think we're gonna walk around a little bit. Stop raining. How was your uh, massage experience? We got, okay, we didn't get deep tissue massages. We got plain massages. It's just a couple's massage. A couple's massage. You can choose, you can choose deep tissue. We just got their standard massage. I really enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't, I was scared it would be too rough. He actually prefers for it to be like deep tissue. more deep tissue. Most to critique it, I would say that they spent yeah. a good, a good 25% of the time shuffling through all the three or four layers of the sheets they Moving had. Moving your butt and legs <laughs> and stuff. Not for me. I feel like I had a better experience than he did, but overall, overall, how would you rate it? I think it was a great massage, great service. Everybody here is like very no, nice. No, it was friendly. They were very friendly. appropriate. Yeah. It was all good. Very professional. Um, so yeah, we're going to go walk around. It didn't now. feel like 15 minutes though. It felt like... That's Why? weird because for me it felt like oh my gosh this is dragging on forever I gotta lay here for like 15 minutes and he's like what we're done so it's, it depends on the person but overall very good I'm glad we got massages you feel relaxed he went in the sauna I went in their eucalyptus steam room that's like my favorite he loves the sauna now we're just gonna get ready and go to dinner all dressed up and ready to go out to dinner just looking all cute all cute all cute all cute got my knee high Amazon boots it's gonna be a fun walk that like four inch heels, but we'll see. I don't think we'll be walking for too long. We're gonna walk oh, it's there. A couple blocks. Yeah, everything here is so close in Rhinebeck, so I'm excited and I'm hungry. Let's go. Yep, that's the place. I'm not even sure what they serve. Probably like American cuisine or I don't even know really. I'm so So we'll see. feels kind of weird just talking to myself, but we just had a really good dinner and I'm just walking around a little bit, a little farther out the blocks. It's so quiet and peaceful here. It's almost like no one even lives here. We're like a block out from the main street. I forgot we're on the third floor, but yeah, so we're right on. The balcony is actually right there, so you are right. The main entrance. So we're not right above the balcony, we're main entrance. We're right to the left of it. I think it's so quiet and peaceful here. I don't know if it's because it's October or in general it's like this. It's a small town. Yeah, it's a very small town. Like we were walking around. Yeah. Only. We were walking around just checking it out and it's the main the main part is literally one block long. Um, but it's very cute. I'm sure on Christmas time it looks so adorable. We ordered some cheesecake <laughs> from the restaurant to go because we wanted our stomachs to settle some of the food. It's actually really good food. The pumpkin ravioli was delicious. His steak was cooked perfectly. Our thing was so good. And the portion sizes were really good. And so we ordered a cheesecake with some like a berry compote. I guess we're gonna stay in the room. Are we gonna stay here? Good, I mean, it's only six. It's not six, it's already, oh wow, it's, it's 6.30. 6.30, yeah. So we can probably save this cheesecake and go hang out on the Aqua Terrace again. We got lucky, because the first time we came here, there was a ton of people, I don't know what it was, I don't know if it was like, because it was a holiday on Monday, but these past, this today and then the evening, it was just, so quiet here you're like the only ones on the aqua terrace just it's actually kind of nice i feel like we got lucky with lake placid that time as well it was like the perfect time to go right before christmas there was like no one there so quiet and peaceful so yeah i think we're just gonna hang out maybe go downstairs to aqua terrace we'll see
convertible hair. My hair is so nappy, I'm gonna have to brush it. But that's okay. We stopped by the Vanderbilt Mansion historical site. The inside, you can't go inside any of the buildings, but you can still walk around the grounds. It's like 20 minutes from Merbo. So you have their family tree. And some of the survivors. Probably can't hear because it's going to be a little windy, but um, the main Vanderbilt guy, his family tree goes all the way down to Gloria Vanderbilt, whose son is Anderson Cooper of CNN. What a God bless you. What are the chances? And then we went to the Biltmore Estate that was in uh, North Carolina. That one was beautiful. We went there when we were driving through the Asheville Mountains. Do you remember? Yeah, Blue Ridge Mountains. Yeah, that one was really pretty. Well, yeah, small, small world at the end of the day. This is really pretty though. There's like a house all the way in the corner there. Just for, <laughs> don't mind my nail polish. It's so peaceful here though. Almost looks like a courthouse. At the end of the day, everything gets left behind. Look at that. Wow, it's incredible. Look at all the detailing here. I love the ivy growing on the brick. interesting if it was actually open you can go inside but if you're in the area I think it's worth a nice walk it's like very lavish it's probably pretty some people have picnics yeah some people are doing that overlooking Just, the Hudson so now I want to try the walkway over the Hudson that seems pretty cool that's where we're gonna go next long walk so this will be interesting now the colors are changing so it's probably really pretty so it's free to come here at least when we came oh. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting to hear her talking no. Russian wow come here let's go on this side That's the bridge we drove to get here. And this is the Hudson River. Look at this. Wow. It's pretty cool. It's kind of scary. Look at that. Look at that. 